Titan added the former Alabama defensive forward to the training team. Defensive lineman Deshaun Hand is on his third NFL team in the 2021 NFL season, and he's been moving up in the standing. The former Alabama standout was with the Detroit Lions until November 30th. The Lions remain in contention to post the worst record in the NFL in the 2021 season. More NFL. Titans designate Derrick Henry for return. Daniel Carlson wins NFL Weekly Award again. Jalen Hurts seeks response after near-tragic incident. Hand spent December 21st through December 31st with the Indianapolis Colts, who will secure a spot in the AFC playoffs if they win on Sunday. On Wednesday, Hand signed to join the Tennessee Titans, who occupy the number one seed in the AFC postseason field with one weekend remaining in the regular season. One important difference for Hand, he was eligible to play, when healthy, with the Lions. With the Colts and now with the Titans, Hand is on the practice squad, so he will need to be one of Tennessee's two standard elevations or a COVID-19 replacement to get on the field on game day. Hand played in three games for Detroit this season. He missed the first seven games with a groin injury, returned to play, then landed on injured reserve with a groin injury before being released with an injury settlement. During his time with the Lions, Hand played in 29 games and missed 30 with injury. Hand was among the four players from Alabama high schools and colleges involved in non covid 19 transactions in the NFL on Wednesday. The New Orleans Saints signed defensive tackle Braxton Hoyett for their practice squad, eight days after they had released him from the practice squad. Hoyett was in his first week on the Saints practice squad when he was elevated as a COVID-19 replacement for the December 27th game against the Miami Dolphins. In his second NFL appearance, Hoyett made four tackles, including one behind the line of scrimmage, while playing 15 snaps in a 20-3 loss to the Miami Dolphins. New Orleans released him the next day. The Denver Broncos placed Kareem Jackson on injured reserve. Jackson has been dealing with a back ailment, but he has played in every game and leads the Broncos with 88 tackles this season. Jackson has not been on the field for practice this week and will miss Denver's season finale on Saturday against the Kansas City Chiefs. The Cleveland Browns signed quarterback Nick Mullins for their active roster. Mullins had been a member of Cleveland's practice squad. Mullins comes up to back up Case Keenum in the Browns' season finale against the Cincinnati Bengals on Sunday after Cleveland placed starting QB Baker Mayfield on injured reserve on Wednesday. Mullins went all the way under center for the Browns in a 16-14 loss to the Las Vegas Raiders on December 20th when Mayfield and Keenum were on reserve slash COVID-19. For more of AL.com's coverage of the NFL, go to our NFL page. Mark Abinette is a sports reporter for Alabama Media Group. Follow him on Twitter at Mark one